in our first season in charge of Manchester City, we were never quite able to defeat Liverpool. We lost to them 2-1 in the FA Cup final, a 2 all draw at home in the league, and a 3-1 loss away from home in the Premier League. Today, we are facing them in the English Community Shield. We have signed Haaland, Goretzka, Kimmich, oh, and Mbappe. So if I can't beat Liverpool now, I'm gonna need to have a really hard look at my tactics. Hey guys, and welcome back to the 14th episode of the FM21 Manchester City Road to the Champions League with me, Raxo FM, where today we are facing Liverpool and then Bournemouth in the Community Shield and then the first game of our Premier League season. But I think the most important thing that's going on right now is the fact that the transfer window is still open. We've made some incredible signings already. We're kind of out of money, so our business well and truly could be done. If you haven't seen what happened in yesterday's episode, make sure you do go ahead and watch that before you click on this video. I mean, you've already clicked on it, but, you know, continue watching it. And before we go any further in this game, obviously, I'm going to ask you to like this video if you are enjoying the series so far, as well as subscribing to the Rex FM YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the future daily-ish football manager content coming your way. Can we please get 10 likes today? Yesterday, I think we went with 12. Can we beat 10 today? And I'm not going to mess with your time too much more. Mess with your time, apparently that's a phrase now. We're going to go into our first game against Liverpool. And it's going to be an incredible game because we get to see some of our best players playing their first competitive games in the Manchester City shirt. Haaland, Mbappe, Goretzka, Kimmich, Alvarez. Uh, we've also got other debutants, I swear. We've got Depay, who's finally officially signed for us. Angelino coming into the squad. Who else have we got? Am I missing anyone? Coop Myers, who's not even made the bench. We've also got Pellegrini, who again, hasn't even made the bench. We have an absolutely stacked squad this year. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who's probably going to end up being a reserve player. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a good year this year. Let's make sure we start with a high. Let's make sure we start with a win. Unfortunately, we do have a couple of players that aren't fully fit. And I've just realised that Mbappe is probably not... Yeah, he's probably not at the level that we need for him to be starting today. So, you know, I'm going to bring Gnabry on, put Sterling as a attacking player, and bring Mbappe on if we need him. I have a good feeling that we're probably going to need Mbappe. I mean, you can never really go wrong with Mbappe, can you? So, I'm still confident in our 11. We do have Muric in between the sticks. Unfortunately, Edison is out because of international duty. We've got an injury to De Bruyne, and we've got Gabriel Jesus and Fer Ferran Torres out with international duty as well. So, no one too insanely good. What am I talking about? We've lost De Bruyne and Edison. Those are two incredible players, but I still think I back this team. Got Haaland, Sterling, Silva, Gnabry, Goretzka, Kimmich, Cancelo, Alvarez, Laporte, Guerrero, and Muric in between the stitch. Stitch? Sticks. That's confusing because you know the names. Muric and Sticks. And, and that worked out perfectly for Goretzka. We had the number eight available. He gets the number eight shirt straight away. And we're jumping into our first competitive game of the season against Liverpool. Let's get another trophy. Let's defeat Liverpool. Like, I just want to beat Liverpool. I don't even care about the trophy. I do care that they've got an interesting goalkeeper as well. You know what? I'm clicking on him. £8 million. Pounds. Not bad. I guess they signed him a while ago. Yeah, he's a, he's a youth player. Um, yeah, it's good to know that we're not the only team who's got a wee bit of a shaky uh, goalkeeper for this game, but I still think that they're playing with a very strong 11, although we also are playing with a very strong 11. That is an incredible team. Goretzka and Kimmich in the midfield coming from Bayern Munich. We're just poaching all the players from Bayern Munich. Let's not start badly, though. Virgil van Dijk's just headed the ball over the crossbar. I don't need to see too much more of that. Thank you very much, football manager. I want an easy start, a comfortable start. We've got Haaland up top, and he's going to be attacking this corner. As Guerrero puts it in, I think it was Haaland at the back. It was Haaland at the back post, in fact, who tried to attack that, but he couldn't quite put it on target. But we have another opportunity, and it looks like it's going to be an action-packed game based off the first 11 minutes, and Guerrero's on the ball. Playing it over to Kimmich on his debut, back into Guerrero. A bit of link-up play between players that have been in the Bundesliga before. I like it, I like it. Sterling. Kind of playing a ball through to Haaland. It's almost gone into the back of the net after he passes it to Silva. I mean, Haaland is definitely not known for his 
assist ability, but if he got his first goal contribution with an assist, I wouldn't be too upset about it, as long as the ball's going into the back of the net. Oh, I thought he was going to go through on goal there, but we've given it straight to the Liverpool goalkeeper. But I think we're going to win this header. We don't win the header. And I think it's Liverpool's opportunity as Mane is running on the right-hand side, trying to get a shot away, but Muric stands his ground, collects the ball, and that's the end of the highlight. I know for a fact that Liverpool got rid of Mohamed Salah this season, so I'm hoping that with that gone, that player gone, we'll have a better opportunity of dominating them in the league because he's generally considered to be one of their best players. But they've still got Mane, still got a lot of threat, but our threat doesn't seem to be closing down this Liverpool defence quite enough just yet. Still in shock, gets blocked easily by the defender there. Oh, oh, I don't know how easy it was. I mean, it was a very decent block, but they have another opportunity. We're seeing end-to-end -end football going on here. Kaita goes for the chop with his left peg, and this time it is wide of the mark with 15 minutes to go. It isn't even a fear based off the highlights that we've seen, but I feel like we've seen most of our shots and not as many of Liverpool's. I think the highlights have been quite even, but clearly shots are not quite so even. But we've got another chance here. Are we going to score it? Sterling running into the mix. He goes for the shot, and again, it's another great save. I think it's like five highlights that we've seen now, and, and no goals. That's, that's a, a pretty terrible ratio. But I'd like to see one go into the back of the net before half-time. Don't think it's going to happen as the halftime whistle does end up blowing. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy with the performance so far to motivate them for the second half. I'm definitely keeping my eye on Gnabry to potentially come off. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we all know who I'm thinking about bringing on. I think it's going to happen, actually. 57 minutes gone. It's time to bring Mbappe on. But we'll wait and see what happens in this highlight first. Kimmich trying to find a way back to Laporte. He does. Well, obviously, he's like right there. And we've scored. Are you sure that came off Haaland? It looked like it came off Bernardo Silva. I don't care too much, but it's Haaland's first goal. I want to clarify that it is actually his goal. <laughs> Look to me like that came off Bernardo Silva. It's a great ball over the top. Not a great shot there, but no, okay. Bernardo Silva was just the player with the banner on top of his head. And now that we're a goal up, I'm, I'm not actually that tempted to bring on Mbappe. I'd rather give him a wee rest and give him his full debut. Oh, no, who am I kidding? Yeah, we're definitely playing Mbappe, aren't we? I, I quickly talked myself out of that one. Sterling's going to move to a support player. Mbappe's going to be an inside forward, and he's going to do an incredible job on his debut. I, I guarantee it. I don't actually guarantee it. He's only got, like, 22 minutes to go. So if he does anything mildly noteworthy, I'll consider that a win. We're going to bring Kimmich off as well, bring Rodri on just to try and have some fresh legs in that sort of an area. Guerrero trying to score a free kick there, almost does, but the goalkeeper comes across just in time. His positioning was pretty central, so you would expect him to be able to get across to that one. And we have another opportunity now. Not as many opportunities going Liverpool's way. Of course, as I say that, now it does definitely look like it is Liverpool's chance. Let's not see them concede. I don't want an interesting 20 minutes. I want a comfortable solid even adding to our advantage 20 minutes and i think that could be what's happening here as mbappe plays it into highland into bernardo silva he goes one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he's put it just wide of the mark that was a very well worked opportunity just didn't quite have the finishing touch at the end of it but we've got another highlight coming our way and how many times i've said have i said that in today's episode already this yeah we've definitely seen a lot of highlights and i thought that was going to be the first of many mbappe and highland linking up couldn't quite get the finishing touch this time as a block shot meant that the goal was obviously not scored if the you know if the shot's blocked generally it doesn't go all, all the way to the goalkeeper. We're gonna make our final substitution. It's gonna be Memphis to to come on for Raheem Sterling because of his tied legs, because of you know the heart thing. But oh, I would have loved to see a goal contribution between those two players early on, but it's not to be. I'm sure we'll see plenty throughout the season. Five minutes to go in this game. Can we hold on? Can we break our duck against Liverpool? It could be spoiling our party here. I feel like I'm very comfortable about the scoreline right now because we're playing well and most of the highlights seem to be going our way. But we've given them away. And with only three minutes to go, if they score here, it's going to be pretty embarrassing. I think they could do. Mane's in. He's going for the shot. It's a brilliant tackle. And that is from Guerrero. What a tackle. He has just saved us. And I think that that means that we are going to win the community shield. I mean, it's, you can't really say that and be too hyped, can you? But we've done it. We've beaten Liverpool, we've got the community shield, we're starting the season with a bang. Haaland's the man of the match, I imagine. He's the person that scored the goal. And we're going to raise the, I was going to say trophy, but it literally isn't the name. It's a shield, isn't it? And they've really engineered it well on football, man. It's, it's, it's a plate. It doesn't even look like a dinner plate. It looks like what you put in your microwave. It's a microwave plate. 
I'll take it though. We've beaten Liverpool for a microwave play. And we're going to tell the boys we're happy with that performance, obviously. Great performance. If you're going to close out a team like Liverpool and hold them to a nil, well, goalless performance, as well as trying to say, um, you've always played well. And Haaland scored. He's gone the man of the match. It's not an insane debut, but it's enough for us. And we will certainly take the win against Liverpool for the first time in this save. Hopefully, that means we're going to be able to beat them in the league. And, oh, yes, I've got them sorted by name for the intro. Yeah, that, that was weird. But now we're going to move on to our next game, which is in the first, which is the first game of the Premier League campaign against Bournemouth, a, t a side that just came up. Can we beat them? I'm fairly confident we can. But oh, away from home, I actually am slightly nervous now. If we've just beaten Liverpool, we we can definitely beat... No, we're going to beat Bournemouth. you got to manifest this kind of stuff. It's game day once again. We've got a game faces on. The the, the face paint, you know, like the two, two, two stroke things, you know, you know, black black paint, you know, two stroke. Yeah, we've got that on my face. You can't see it, but I've, I've actually got it, like genuinely got it. And this is the first game of the entire Premier League season. It's between the team that won this season and the team that won... The championship. It, 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 I, I didn't explain that very well, but I think you got the gist of what I was trying to say. This is the team that we're going with for this mon monumentous game in this series. It's Haaland, Foden, forgot his name for a minute there, Sterling, Mbappe, Goretzka, Kimmich, Cancelo, Alvarez, Laporte, Guerrero, and Edison. Unfortunately, we still have some injuries. We've got Diaz, who's not fully fit just yet. I mean, he's still got the injury thing, so it worries me a wee bit. And I don't know where this came from, but the Bruyne is out for two to four weeks. I'm I'm not happy about that. I'm never letting them go out on an international duty ever again. I've just realised we're in a balanced mentality. We are definitely going to positive against a side that we really should be winning. Let's come away with an early win. Let's come away with a good start. Let's go straight to the top of the table and let's beat this Bournemouth team. They've got Ben Foster in between the sticks, the cycling goalkeeper, you know that? You want to make a collab with me? Just let me know, mate. They've got a couple new players in there. Gomez in there. Um, Kazri up the top. Also, Ben Foster in between the sticks. I, I swear I saw someone else. Oh, Juan Mata. Yes, that's that's definitely new. Also, Mustafi in there. So they've done some interesting things to their team. They're at home today. And I'm hoping to spoil their fun as they make their way back into the Premier League. And we're going to knock them straight back down to the championship because they'll just be so embarrassed after the result that we put it against them today. Ben Foster clears it long, but we collect it straight away. And I think this is going to be our opportunity as Cancelo runs down the way. Uh, okay. I still think it's going to be our opportunity. But Cancelo, did you really have to lose it there? Did you have to mug me off? Are we going to give away a penalty? We didn't give away a penalty. That was very concerning to begin the season. Mbappe on the ball. Plays it over to Phil Foden. We've got a serious wonder kid lineup going on here. Mbappe, Haaland, Phil Foden. Who else do we have in there? Alvarez could be considered a wonder kid of sorts. Solanke also potentially be considered a wonder kid. Luckily, he's straight offside. And that, that is concerning. I, I did think this was going to be quite a comfortable win. They've scored an offside goal, so it, at least it's not an early goal to be conceded. But it's a decent ball over the top, and it's just offside. So, yeah, let, let's take this a wee bit more seriously. I'm going to demand more from the boys already. Hope that we can score a goal. Guerrero standing over the free kick. Hullins trying to lurk at the back post, but it's gone straight into Foster's hands. So far, from what we've seen, had a good day at the office. I've mentioned him a couple of times, but... Is he going to break the deadlock here? Mbappe does get in. He has just proven that that is why we spend 180 million. But okay, maybe we shouldn't have spent that much money on him. But he is one of the best players in the world, and he is going to be one of the best players in the world for some time. Kimmich also proving that he deserves to be signed. A great ball into the mixer, and Mbappe just goes around the goalkeeper that I have been praising quite a lot. And uh, it's now 1-0 to Manchester City, and it could be 2-0 straight away if we collect the ball very quickly here. Gomez on the ball. Is it Gomez? It's not Gomez. I don't know why I've said that. Gomez on the ball. Eventually, it comes up to Meta, who got the assist for the offside goal, but we've taken it off him. Foden over to Haaland. Are ah, both of the Wonder Kids going to score? Oh, Haaland's just hit the post. I thought that was going to be perfect. One straight after the other. Haaland and Mbappe. Unfortunately, Haaland can't match what Mbappe has done just yet. We'll, we'll literally get to see who was better this year, Mbappe or Haaland. I love that. I should make a video out of this. I, I think I might. At the very end of the season, 
I might make a video and just talk about who's better, Mbappe. I'm, I'm doing that. I'm definitely doing that. That is that's genius. I'm proud of that idea. But we're focusing on the game at hand right now. Foden trying to move it forward, can't quite get in behind. And unfortunately, it means that Bournemouth are on the attack. Don't don't concede. Don't concede. Edison saved it. Great stuff by Edison. 25 minutes ago in this half, and we're just getting another highlight. Okay, just like in the Liverpool game, we're seeing a lot of highlights going on here. Not a lot of transfers going on in this transfer window video, but, but we're seeing highlights, and that's the important thing. I guess I probably did title this video something like you know, the first game of the Premier League season, or can we beat Liverpool, or something like that, so you expected football, and oh my goodness, how have we not scored there, I really thought someone would be there to snap up the rebound, put it into the back of the net, but no one could, and it's still only 1-0 up, but yeah, you would have expected to have football in this game, I imagine I haven't misled too much. The thumbnail. Haaland on the ball. Trying to play it over the top. Oh, I thought he was going to try and play it over the top. He didn't. And Mbappe was making a blistering run now. But he's got the ball now. It's going for a shot. Okay, that was ambitious, mate. That was very ambitious. Don't want to see any more of that. That was Raheem Sterling type stuff. You're, you're Mbappe. Let's see a wee bit better than that. No, no disrespect to Raheem Sterling, but, you know, come on. Mbappe, you're better than that. Sterling's in there, actually. Goretzka gets the ball, and he's just scored a debut goal. What a finish by that man. An absolute bullet past the goalkeeper. And now we're 2-0 up in the first game of the year. I think that we deserve to be 2-0 up now. We've definitely dominated. I mean... Bournemouth have gone a few more opportunities than I expected of them, but luckily none of them have led to goals. And Goretzka has just, I think, sealed the deal. I think a 2-0 lead is too much for this Bournemouth side to overcome. I'd like to score as many as possible, though, to you know, keep ourselves on top of the table for the whole season, ideally. That would be great, because if we get a high goal difference now, hopefully no one will catch ups. And then, you know, fine and dandy, just near win the Champions League. Everything's Bob's your uncle easy. I don't think Bob's your uncle was necessary to say that. I don't think it actually made sense to say that. But I've, I've said it and we're moving on. Only 25 minutes to go in this game now. The second half has been a lot less interesting than the first half. And Cancelo is trying to prove that there is a wee bit of excitement in this game by playing it up to Mbappe. Trying to run past the defenders. Is he going to score a goal here? No, Fraser Foster is it? It's not Fraser Foster. It's, uh, it's Ben Foster. And I think that... Fraser is forced to, you know, a bit, bit of a difference in it. It's the R. The R really catches you off guard. But we've still got another opportunity to get it past Foster as Kimmich plays it back to Laporte into Guerrero, who's playing a pretty low racing right now, 6.5. If we score here, surely he's going to get some of the credit for it. I mean, it's a goal for Haaland, and it's an assist by Raheem Sterling. Guerrero was involved in some sort of a build-up for that, but now our two key wonder kids have scored in this game. Haaland with one, Mbappe with one. Both of them not having insane ratings right now, but I don't mind too much. As long as the ball's going into the back of the net, I am happy with that. 20 minutes to go in this one, and I, th I feel like I should make some substitutions, but we're just doing very well right now, aren't we? 4-0 is my goal. Foden on the ball playing it up. To Sterling, and he does make it 4-0. I, I get what I want. No, I'm, I'm like a, a fussy five-year-old who doesn't want to eat their broccoli. I, I get what I want. Left, right, and center. Ah, oh, I forgot to put a left back on. Oh, now that is silly. That is silly. Oh, I'm annoyed about that. I'm really annoyed about that. I thought it wouldn't be a big deal because we have a bunch of right-back options, but no. Don't even, oh, Kinsella can do a job. No, he's going, he's going right back. And we're going to bring Guerrero up into there. And then bring Pella. Yeah, no, actually Rodri. Rodri's going to do a better job in there. And we're going to bring Pellegrini on for Foden. And, we'll, oh, you know, let's make all of our substitutions. Let's also bring Diaz on. Nah, are we going to bring Diaz on? Nah, nah, let's keep it at that. I feel bad bringing anyone else on. Anyone else off, sorry. Everyone else has played really well in this game. I, I, I'm t such a nice guy. I just feel so much for my virtual, non-real people in this fictional video game. Pellegrini moving forward on his debut, loses the ball, but we still kept a hold of it. That time, we haven't kept a hold of it. And actually, Bournemouth could get a consolation goal here. It would be nothing more than a consolation. I would still definitely not like that to happen. I want to keep a clean sheet here. Start the season off with a defensive and an attacking bang. Oh, I think they're going to score. They have scored. That's so annoying. Juan Mata at the back post. Oh, that's so annoying. 
I really didn't want to concede. And now I'm making that final substitution because Sterling's looking tired. Memphis Depay's coming on. He's going to play as a support role. I think he's going to do fine for the last few minutes. Oh, why did we have to concede? How has no one cleared that? Probably because I played Cancelo at left back, to be fair. And Mbappe's trying to get it back, though. Are we going to get a penalty? No, that's not a penalty. Okay. Well, to be fair, with football manager, you really never know. Everything looks like a penalty. And the things that don't look like penalties are often penalties. I'm calling you out, football manager. Sports Interactive. Fix your penalties. Not, not good enough. Jal Cancelo to throw it in for Memphis to pie. Both. No, no Jal Cancelo doesn't have fresh legs. But Memphis to pie does. Not proving it with that shot there. And with only a couple of seconds to go, I think the game is wrapped up. A 4-1 win to start the season. I would have loved a clean sheet, but I'm still very happy with the performance. It's a great performance, and we deserve to be the winners there. And and that's a just a brilliant episode overall. You know, we beat Liverpool. We've never beaten Liverpool. Even though it was just a 1-0 win, it's still decent. We've got a 4-1 win in the first game in the Premier League. You know, we're even going to simulate forward one day. See, see if anyone does any better than us if we're going to stay on top of the table let's see let's see it, i feel like ours must have been like a midday day midday game the rest of them must be later in the afternoon bit of a, a bit of a night sort of occasion but ours has gone early it's taken a while to work out just if, if anyone else has scored more than three goals in that game i mean we scored four and conceded one so that's better than just scoring three and keeping a clean sheet so i think i think odds are we're going to stay on top of the table and we do. Not everyone's played the games though. We've still got all these middle section that's going to play. But for now, we've done well. And Aston Villa have beaten Everton. Why am I analysing it? I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Crystal Palace beat Leeds. Newcastle beat Sheffield United. Uh, Tottenham beat Leicester. That's a surprise. <laughs> uh, Manchester United almost lost. Well, it wasn't almost. It was two goals in it. But you know, Nottingham Forest team that I actually want to keep a good eye on this year. Almost doing a decent job against Manchester United and our rivals from last year Chelsea stay on the same goal difference as us but are just behind us for that exact reason because we scored more goals than them four goals to their three get in that is where we're ending this episode make sure you do subscribe to the Rex FM channel so you don't miss tomorrow's episode where we will be completing the transfer window I want to say yeah we will be will be completing the transfer window so I think we'll play against Watford and Newcastle assuming those are the games in between the end of the transfer window i imagine it ends like you know somewhere in here so that's the plan for now hope you guys have enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button if you have and i will see you all later